hope you're enjoying our quick setup series on the Yamaha ZG01 Game Streaming Audio Mixer. In this video, we'll look at the various vocal mic effects you can utilize during your gameplay. The ZG01 has three mic effect buttons that can have different functions assigned to them from the ZG controller software. From the main page, select the third tab on the left. Here, we can see dedicated sections for each mic effect button. The first mic effect button is a dedicated voice changer. From the drop down menu, you can select from preset effects including soprano, alto, tenor, bass, or radio voices, and a singing preset for reverb. You can also design your own voices with edits to Voice Changer 1, saving to Custom 1, and edits to Voice Changer 2, saving to Custom 2. So if the provided effects aren't your style, simply click the Edit button to start making changes. You can enable up to four different parameters, starting with FX1 on the left, which modifies the pitch of your voice. The Transpose tab in FX1 lets you use sliders to raise or lower the pitch of your voice, as well as the underlying formant or harmonic. The level slider can then be increased or decreased depending on how much of the effect you want, with subtle changes sounding more natural and drastic changes being more artificial. Alternatively, the dual pitch tab allows you to engage up to two different pitches at the same time, as well as set the level or amount of the effect. By clicking on the word FX2 or its on off switch, we can see the second set of FX options that we can engage. First is the radio voice with the frequency bands parameter working like a low pass filter that cuts high frequencies, drive that adds distortion to the signal, and a level slider. The tremolo tab adds a volume modulation effect that allows you to control the speed that the volume cycles up and down, as well as the depth to determine how much of the frequency range is modulated. Reverb offers three different reverb depths with hall being the deepest, room in the middle, and plate being the shortest. After setting the type, the initial delay can be set to define how soon after the original sound the reverb effect will happen. Then the reverb time can be set for how long the reverb will last, as well as the level or amount of reverb you want. And finally, the tone parameter allows you to adjust the frequency bands of your effect, similar to an EQ with high adjusting sound at 10 kHz, mid at 1 kHz, and low at 100 hertz. Once you're happy with your effect settings, click OK. Any edits made in Voice Changer 1 will be saved to the Custom 1 preset. If you'd like a second custom effect, this can be assigned to the second mic effect button where any customized settings will be saved to the Custom 2 preset. However, the second mic effect button can also be assigned as a sound effect button for those intense moments when you need to bleep your speech. The drop down lets you set the volume of the bleep to low, medium, or high. Keep in mind that the second mic effect button will work as an on off button when using mic effects, but when using it for bleeping, it will only stay on while holding the button. The third mic effect button, assigned as an echo effect, works the same way. Hold down the third button for as long as you'd like to maintain the echo effect, and then release it. You can also set how much sustain you'd like on the echo effect from short, middle, or long. When you're happy with your settings, remember to click the green Save to ZG01 button in the top left corner to save your settings to the ZG unit when playing away from your computer. Keep watching this Yamaha ZG series to get the most out of your game streaming experience.